What's going on, everybody? RJ Ochoa here from SB Nation's bloggingtheboys.com. Hope all is well wherever you are. We hope you're happy, safe, healthy, and that you're excited because a kicker competition is on the way. That's right. Friday, big, massive news. I don't know if you remember, as soon as the 2022 NFL draft ended, Stephen Jones said, we're not done. He said the Dallas Cowboys were not done adding external free agents, that is, external veteran free agents. To this point, the Dallas Cowboys have only signed three external free agents, obviously, wide receivers. Receiver James Washington, pass rusher Dante Fowler, and who could forget running back Ryan Nall? Well, the Dallas Cowboys struck again on Friday. That's right. Technically speaking, the Dallas Cowboys are bringing back, bringing in a veteran free agent. They just so happen to be bringing him back. The Dallas Cowboys bringing back kicker Lareem Hyrulahu, a very difficult last name to pronounce. In fact, I'm still not entirely certain that I have it correct, but the Dallas Cowboys now have two kickers on their roster. And look, I know that this is going to incite some jokes and incite some comments, but ultimately this is a good thing. The Dallas Cowboys, as of Friday morning, only had one kicker on their roster, and that's undrafted free agent Jonathan Garibay out of Texas Tech. And if there's one lesson that we hope the Dallas Cowboys learned over the course of the Greg Zerline experience, it's that you can't just hand somebody the kicking competition because you like them or because they're your friend. We're talking about you, John Bones Fossil. Uh, I was going to say Jonathan Garibay. Lareem Harulahu uh, only played one game for the Dallas Cowboys last year, as you can see looking at his chart from Pro Football Reference. It was the uh, Cowboys drubbing of the Atlanta Falcons, which did not exactly require some work in the field goal game. Lareem attempted five extra points in the competition was successful on all five of them so he has literally made every single kick that he has ever attempted for the Dallas Cowboys. Zareem did latch on with the Carolina Panthers near the end of the season a year ago uh, and got some work with them. He attempted five field goals for them uh, over the course of his career with the Panthers and ultimately made four of them. So uh, his experience in the NFL is certainly not too large but uh, it does exist and he is therefore a veteran by definition. Now Zareem did spend part of training camp with the Dallas Cowboys last year. It was near the end of it because Greg Zerling was coming back from back surgery. Hunter Nicewander was also part of the overall kicking rotation throughout the preseason, but as soon as Greg Zerling was healthy, as mentioned, the Cowboys kind of went back to what was comfortable for them and let Lareem go. Now, the reason that Lareem was on the roster in the middle of the season for that game against the Atlanta Falcons was because Greg Zerling was on the COVID list. So with Greg Zerling now officially gone from the Cowboys, there was the report initially that maybe the Cowboys wanted to bring him back before he wound up with the Jets. Uh, they had to settle for Jonathan Garibay and now have Lareem Harulahu to present a competition. Again, competition is a good thing. I don't think any of us are upset about this. I know it's a kicker, but a kicker is important. We have been struggling to find a kicker for this team ever since the glory days of Dan Bailey. And I don't know how well you remember, but it was four years ago that the Dallas Cowboys cut Dan Bailey. 2017 was the season that everything kind of started to fall apart for him. So it's really been six years since we've had a reliable kicker on the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not saying it's going to be Lareem. I'm not saying it's going to be Jonathan Garibay, but the fact that they're going to at least have some sort of competition means that it is ultimately going to be something that yields the best overall player. So uh, congratulations to Lareem Harulahu, newest and uh, kind of oldest, not oldest, but still new old member of the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, congratulations to you. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. We'll see you next time.